that I can't teach you how to create wealth. I can't, and nobody can. But when the student is ready, the lessons appear, and you just absorb them in one minute. I like what Tony Robbins said. All, all transformation is always in a blink of an eye. Somebody just decides to quit smoking. They may take three years of contemplation and half trying, but there's a moment when you stop. My grandma told me in the 1950s, she read the Surgeon General uh, alert that said smoking causes a cancer. She stopped it that day. My grandfather, Martin, he didn't really believe it. He said, oh, no, everybody smokes. He continued to smoke. And he died of emphysema when I was eight years old. Tragedy. He was such a smart guy. I would have, I'm the only grandchild that ever got to meet my scientist, Grandpa Martin. He kind of robbed his grandchildren because he, 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 he didn't want to be, he didn't want to learn. My grandma just believed right away. Oh, Surgeon General, there's no perverse incentive. They're saying cigarettes will kill you. She just decided, she said, I never smoked a day after that. She saw it on a whatever Monday. And she stopped on a Monday. Some of you could learn this wealth lesson just right now. You could just be like, oh, all KPIs have to have a quantity and quality. But I know some of you, you ain't ready. So that you you want to be, you, you want to be taught. So a mathematical impossibility. Because when the student isn't ready, nobody can teach. It's kind of the trauma of my life in business with people. It's like, don't you just want to know? Don't you just want to know? Like, today's a Thursday. Don't you just want to learn this wealth creation lesson? And, and it's permanently ingrained. Now, some of you, maybe you don't have great memories, so you need cards, flashcards. Every time you brush your teeth, you're like, quantity and quality. But I for sure do get traumatized at the thought that next week, somebody's going to come on here and do a one KPI. I mean, later today, one of you is going to do a damn one KPI, you're going to go, oh, well, the UPCSS, and I'm going, oh, my God. But some of you, and here's the good news, some of you are ready. You're ready. You're like, oh, well, I'm ready to learn. I can't be taught because I'm already ready to learn. The ball was right. Wealth cannot be taught. That's why people go to MBAs and know nothing. I've hired PhDs that were complete nonsense people in business. It's not nine plus nine times nine is 81. That can be taught and learned. That's easy. But wealth is half art, half science. It's a, it's a combination of conscientiousness, extroversion, you know, all of these skills. And that's why 10 men have half the money in the world. I don't think that's fair, but it's how it is. It's probably going to get worse. Your grandchildren, I'm not surprised if three people in 10 years from now, have 50% of all the net worth of the world. As Will Durant says, as technology increases, wealth concentrates because tools, some people, this is what Will Durant said. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. If you read the lessons of history, he said, because some people catch the technology and learn it overnight. And most people are on their own learning curve of 20 to 30 years. So the more, when the first gun was invented versus spears and arrows, you know, what's the story of the conquistadors going to the Central America and one dude, what was it, Cortez, I forget which one, he conquered the whole empire. The Aztecs, the Central American, you know, the Mayan, they were conquered by one dude with a gun with 30 guys. 30 guys conquered 10,000. I'm not saying that's good. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's justified. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying it's, it's a historical fact, maybe. Maybe time's an illusion, but let's say Gun and some mirrors, somebody said. So that is happening at every moment. And for those of you who got tricked by the school system, that you get to learn on a time frame. Like, okay, Susie, Bob, I'm a patient teacher with you. I'm patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to teach you every day. I'm going to come in here and teach you. And we're going to be like, you're going to be smoked in this modern world. So school is not good for kids. It, it not only isn't effective, but it teaches you that you get to learn on a somewhat slow time frame. So it, it acclimates the brain to be really slow. I'm lucky I didn't go to college. You know, college is like, in four years, we're going to teach you about business. No, I dropped out of NC State the first quarter because I had no money and textbooks were like two grand and I didn't have two grand. So I had to drop out. 
And I was on my, I was on a time frame of, are you going to be homeless or are you going to, and I did a consulting contract and got my first $10,000 wire from two hours of work from a guy named Gary Townsend in New Zealand who paid me to give him advice on where to buy farmland in the Midwest. Cause I knew that from living with Amish. And I was like, wait a second, I can go on the world NC state time frame, which is like in four years, I'll know how to make maybe 500 bucks an hour. Well, I can just make $5,000 an hour this week. And I just went on what's called the necessity is the mother of invention time frame. And that was the greatest blessing for me. And some of you didn't get that. You had patient parents. And so you got tricked into thinking the world was patient with you. Your mommy and daddy he loved you. So they're like, no, we're going to work. You're a little slow of a learner. But look at the world, come on. World ain't related to you genetically. Sub 1%, you're related to most other people. So there's no forgiveness. Like your parents are like, oh, well, we got this. This is, we have four kids. This one's a little slow learner. No, everybody got to learn quick, quick. It's a sink or swim game. I wish it wasn't that way, but in this parallel universe, these are the rules. If you can figure out how to parallel universe drop a hop, you can just say, oh, well, I can learn on my own time frame. Ty's teaching KPIs. I need about six months to kind of think this through, absorb it, see if I want to agree with them. Like, uh, I was talking to a private client, one of the hundred K, my hundred K private clients. He's in Dubai just like five minutes ago. And I was like, bro, you're so lucky. I'm, I'm letting them buy a business with me in Europe. I'm like, bro, you're just going to learn the way of the billionaire, which is buying businesses. All billionaires buy business. All entre all millionaires become entrepreneurs and build from scratch. Like every billionaire <laughs> buys their way to be uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Apple, did uh, over 60, uh, over 100, was it 100 or 200 acquisitions? People think Steve Jobs just thought everything up. No, bullshit. They did 200 billion in acquisitions to become the most valuable company in the world. And I was thinking, this guy, I was like, ah, you get in the way of the billionaire. And I'm just showing it to you fast. Like, he's 23. I'm like, you're going to learn the way of the billionaire in like 23 weeks. And most people die and don't even know there is the way of the billionaire. I'm like, you lucky son of a bitch. As Alan Nation used to say, the lucky ones learn it young. The, the, the most biggest luck of it you can have, have is to stumble across a video like this when you're young. Learn that there's always two KPIs. When you're paying your sales team bonus, there's always two KPIs. Some people are paying out 10% on gross sales. That's an idiotic KPI. I spent years studying Warren Buffett till I realized he just always has two KPIs. So I mean, you're going to take a lifetime. You're going to go to your grave, not know quantity, quality KPIs. But some of you are going to get a gift and just listen to this and just know it. You know, everyone on this call knows four times four is 16. Basically a useless thing to know, but zero people in this world statistically know that when you're rewarding your team or you're doing your marketing metrics, you should have two KPIs. Zero. That's the insanity of this world. I'm trying to bring sanity to this world. And I hope some of you can just learn this for the love of God. Wealth can be learned, but it can't be taught. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Or Alan Nation used to say, Ty, don't try to teach a pig to fly. You can't do it, and it bothers the pig. Or as Jesus Christ said, do not throw your pearls to swine, lest they eat the pearls and turn and bite you. You know, that's the crazy thing. You can actually give people good advice. Not only will they not learn, but they'll get mad at you for telling them. So, uh, you know, some reaction to this video will be a little bit of anger. Shoot the messenger. But I'm giving you the message that I wish somebody had given me at 12. Nine. Nine is about the age you can start a business. Warren Buffett bought us her first tax return at nine. And that was in the 50s or 40s. So... Now the world, you could probably start a business at eight. So everybody on this call is over 18 years old. You're already a decade late to this lesson. So up the pressure internally on yourself to be like, why do I have to be taught? Nothing can, nothing important can be taught. It can only be learned. That means you grab it and put it in your own subconscious. Remember, three levels of learning this lesson. Dalai Lama. Hearing, that's some of you. It's going to go in the ear, out the other. This Some of you are playing video games right now. Some of you are texting other people. 
That's level one, not good. There's level two, learning. Okay, that's where it comes into your head and you contemplate and you consciously try to implement it. It's okay, but not great. And then above that, Dalai Lama said, is instinct. Change your instinct. For me, when I look at anything, I, I can't even look at one KPI. It's instinctual. I automatically look for two things. I automatically. When I look in Facebook ad manager, when I look in Google ads, when I look at my performance on on my uh, internal admin panel stats that I've built, there's always like 16 columns. I'm scrolling, but I think one of mine has about 30 columns. So I'm not even just looking at two KPI. That's the way of the master. So I'm excited for those of you who are on this call. You're in the parallel universe where you're ready to learn today. You put down your anxious thoughts about this and that. You know, oh, I think about this. All right. None of that matters. Learn the way of wealth. Learn it. Nobody can teach you. 